So today I'm going to be reviewing three different tripod setups. First, from Shadow Tech LLC, I've got the uh, PIG-0311G with um, the hog saddle sitting up on top. And this has got the Sunway Photo XB52 ball head. And then we're going to go over here to the Leo Photo. This is the LN364 tripod, and I've got a really right stuff uh, TA3 leveling base on it. And then we've got a full setup here from Really Right Stuff. This is the Mark II Soar uh, with the Anvil 30 ball head. All right, guys, here's what I want to do today. Uh, I'm going to shoot off of these three tripods from four different positions. All right, I'm going to do free recoil. I'm going to do standing with a sling. I'm going to do seated with a rear support bag. And I'm going to do prone. So I'm going to do that off of all three of the tripods. I'm going to do that at 100, 300, and 600 yards. And at 100 and 300, I'm going to get groups, which I'll show you um, on paper towards the end or at some point during the video. Really, my whole point is here, I just wanted to shoot off these tripods to try to see if any of them are kind of, you know, more stable than the other. Just get you kind of a pros and cons list so you can get a good overall picture of what, uh, what's out there and what you can use as far as tripods go in long range shooting. So here we go. All right, so um, first thing that I wanted to point out that I noticed about the really right stuff, Soar Mark II Series 3 with Anvil 30 ball head is just how lightweight it is. You know, it felt extremely lightweight when I first picked it up. Um, I didn't know how lightweight it was. So that thing is only four pounds and 11 ounces overall weight. That's with the ball head attached. So um, it, it feels way lighter weight than the other two. Um, that's very noticeable. Another thing that I noticed is just how smooth and easy to operate the ball head is. And it stays locked. You know, when you put that thing in place, uh, it stays right where you want it. So that's very nice. It also folds up um, smaller and more compact than the other two. So, you know, if you're hunting or you want to put this on a, on a pack or something like that, where you don't want to be carrying a lot of weight, this is ideal for that. Um, a couple of the cons, you know, the price is a major con on this one, you know, 1,365 bucks for this, uh, for this bipod. Um, it just makes it out of reach for, for most folks, but, uh, it is sure nice for that price. You know, you're getting what you pay for. Uh, although I do think they are maybe just a tiny bit proud of that name. All right, let's take a quick look at the Leo photo LN 364C. So overall weight on this guy, six and a half pounds. That is with the really right stuff leveling base that I have here. It's the TA3 leveling base. So a couple of pounds heavier than the really right stuff. Uh, and it does not fold down quite as small. So if I was going to go cons first on this one, you know, the folded size is 22.8 inches. Uh, it's actually a bit cumbersome to try to carry it by hand. Um, you can attach it to a pack, but just understand that it's a big tripod, you know. Um, also that leveling base, it just doesn't have quite the articulation range as a standard ball head. You know, with the really right stuff ball head or the XB52 ball head like on the Shadow Tech um, tripod, you can get a lot of, you can get almost vertical shots with those. Whereas the leveling base, uh, you just don't have the, uh, the articulation range, unfortunately. So let's move on to the pros for the Leo Photo. We've got, um, you know, it is extremely stable. It's big, it's wide. Um, you know, it's just very, very stable. You can get good shots off of it. Um, the price is another major plus, uh, $450 for the LN364. Uh, it is compatible with the Really Right Stuff leveling bases. That's a positive for sure. And it is the tallest of the tripods that I tested. So for taller people, uh, you know, you can put some binoculars or something like that on top of it, or you, you, you just need that extra height because you're, you know, over six feet. This is possibly the, uh, the best choice for you. And now the Shadow Tech PIG 0311G. This has got an XB52 ball head on it and a hog saddle sitting up on top. So this guy's made out of aluminum instead of carbon fiber like the other two. Uh, therefore, it is heavier. So the, um, the bipod itself, or excuse me, the tripod itself is only 5.6 pounds overall weight, which is right about the exact same as the Leo photo was. That being said, um, on the Shadow Tech, you've got to take into account the ball head and the hog saddle. So that brings it up to 8.2 pounds overall. This tripod does have a 26 pound load rating, 
which is pretty great. I mean, you think about what kind of a, a weapon you can put on top of that. The XB-52 ball head has a 135 pound load rating. Now, you're not gonna put something that heavy on top of it, but what it does translate into is smoothness. So no matter what you're putting on top of this thing, that ball head can handle it, and it's gonna be extremely smooth doing it. Uh, a couple of the pros with the Shadow Tech. Obviously the price. This tripod is $138. You know, you just can't beat that price for, for a heavy duty, durable, hard use uh, tripod. You know, this was designed by a sniper for snipers and that is their primary uh, market is, is um, military and law enforcement snipers. Now it'll work just as well for the, uh, for the hunter or the PRS shooter. Um, just understand you're, you're looking at a slightly heavier setup um, than the other two. Now, you're also going to pay $300 for a hog saddle and $329 for the XB52 ball head. Uh, Shadow Tech does make some other, uh, you know, lower priced uh, hog saddles and some other lower priced ball heads that are still hard use, heavy duty products, and uh, I highly recommend you, you check them out. A couple of the cons. Uh, I didn't have very many with this, to be honest. Um, you know, with the ball head and the hog saddle, this is kind of a heavy heavy setup and I guess that's the primary downside with this is that it is heavy but again it's kind of a trade-off you know you've got you've got heavier on the front end not quite as compact but it helps mitigate the recoil of the weapon system uh, during shots so it's a it's a negative but it's also a positive uh, and you know this is the shortest of the tripods tested um, not that that's a downside you know I'm six foot and I still didn't have any issue um, shooting off of this uh, standing, kneeling, or prone. Uh, it's just something to be aware of if you're a taller guy, say above six foot, you know, you may have some issues uh, with the standing. You might have to, to bend over a little bit further, but not really all that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a little chart here on the screen of all the shots that I took uh, and the, uh, the group sizes downrange at 100 and 300 yards. Understand that I took a shot, just a single shot, uh, from each position off of each tripod at 600 yards. Uh, that was a two MOA plate that I was shooting at, and I was just going for impacts. And uh, just so you're aware, it was no issue whatsoever um, getting an impact at 600 yards uh, off of each of these setups. It was a first round impact on all but just a couple where I misjudged the wind. Um, but uh, it, is, it is very doable. Guys, there you have it. Uh, three different tripods, uh, low cost, mid range, high end, uh, from four different positions, three different ranges, 100, 300, and 600 yards. All good hits, you saw the groups. Hopefully that gives you some information to make wise choices as you go forward and try to pick out uh, a tripod for your long range shooting. Guys, let me take a minute to thank our sponsor, Ventura Munitions. If you haven't already, give them some love. They make all these videos here at TFB TV possible.